clips because it's so much faster. When I first started doing these big drawings, I was using tape. And it was, oh, there's tape right here. I was going through a lot of tape. It's kind of expensive, and these are completely reusable. And then, oh, here's what fell, I think. Oh, great. A nice, clean piece of paper. Um, just recently, I realized that I could clip on both sides of this board and actually work on two paintings or two drawings at a time because uh, there's always some dry time I have to have uh, if I get heavy on the brown or the black. I need to I need to allow it to dry a bit, and because I, if I don't wait, I've actually ruined. At least a couple of pretty decent drawings that just after you smear the paint with the white, typically it's with the white. Sometimes I smear the black, but it's not noticeable. Not the same way. So um, I cover these things. These are just inexpensive from the art store. This is press and seal wrap. Uh, and it works great. I mean, this paint is still moist like if it was in a tube. Um, very impressed. Stuck my finger right in the white paint from the get-go. And um, so all I'm doing right now is I've got some semi-clean water. This is each of my black, brown, and white. Uh, and so I've got each of these they're, you know, they're not clean, but they're also passable. I can keep mixing for a while. Um, so I'm going to just get them moistened. I mean, this is moist. There's definitely moisture here. I could probably paint with it just the way it is. Hmm. But um, I, I like it when I, you know, when, when you can just paint and, not, and have it really flow. Oh, I came up with this the other night. Uh, this is kind of fun. We've all done this at a restaurant or two in our lives. So anyway, this is all water-based paint, obviously. I'm just going to mix it up. I like to mix a bit, let it sit, mix a little bit more with one of the other colors. And then I, uh, this is sort of a dumb thing, but if you're going to hold this in your hand, for all practical purposes, you can only fill up three of the containers because, see, I'm holding it. You need a place to be able to hold it. Uh, um, some of the sketches I've been working on this last several months are actually named after songs that I was listening to at the time because I didn't really have any, I didn't really have any idea for the sketches, and that there's a whole conversation there, but uh, I'm not going to have right now. But I didn't really have specific ideas for the sketches, so whatever song was playing, I would just name it that. All right, I'm going to move the camera, I guess, and uh, and we're going to paint a couple of things. Um, like I said, I kind of wasn't going to do this tonight, but everything's set up well, so I thought I would. Anyway, talk to you in a moment. I'm all set up to do a, a picture, um, and kind of the point of all these is to uh, try to loosen up to try to be a little more spontaneous in what I do and how I do it. Um, but drawing has always been the root of everything I do. The problem is it's very tight and I want my sculpture in, in the show coming up to be a lot looser, to be more spontaneous. So mostly what I'm trying to do here is practice spontaneity. I'm trying to clear my brain and paint very uh, quickly and um, and just if there's something goes here, then it's call and response. What can I put near it or away from it or as whatever? I mean, I'm letting my subconscious paint as quickly as it can, uh, and I'm trying to get out of my own way. It's very hard for me uh, to do that. 